Hi everyone, it's Danny. So today we're going to be answering a question related to repotting an orchid while it's in bloom. A viewer of mine suggested I make a video on it and tell you my impressions. Well, first of all, I think it's sort of a personal choice at the end of the day. I'll tell you when I think it's really necessary to repot and when it's not and why I think it's a personal matter. When you repot an orchid that is in bloom, uh, you have the slight risk of actually losing some blooms. It doesn't really happen all the time, especially with Phalaenopsis orchids. I've discovered they don't necessarily lose blooms if the overall health of the orchid is pretty good. I've repotted orchids in bloom and nothing happened. Now the reason why I say it's a personal matter is that you might have various reasons why you want to repot your orchid. You might find that the medium doesn't smell that good anymore, it's not that fresh anymore, you might find um, the pot has cracked or something, you might find that it's summer and you really don't want to repot an orchid if it's very very hot, all sorts of reasons. So it's really up to you if you want to uh, risk losing a few flowers or not. The risk of actually losing flowers, I would say, is not super super great. So um, yeah, it really depends on you. Now when you really have to repot, uh, you really don't have to care for the blooms anymore. If, if you have a sick orchid um, that has root rot that can take over the whole pot and the whole root system, it's best to repot it no matter if it has blooms or not. Now depending on the state, um, on the health of the orchid, you might choose if you want to cut the flower spikes or not because these flower spikes tend to draw a lot of energy out of the orchid. So if your orchid is super limpy, doesn't really have too many roots, is really not looking great, you really should cut the flower spikes as hard as it may be. Now some orchids don't stay in bloom that much and that could be a good thing. If you just purchased an orchid and you really want to repot it because of the medium and also because it's a good idea to repot new orchids, you might want to enjoy the blooms for a few more days or a week. Then they will fall uh, by themselves and you can go ahead and repot it. But keep in mind that you really have to have a judging eye. If your orchid is on, the, on its deathbed, you want to repot it no matter what and obviously uh, cut the flower spikes. If you feel that the orchid is still doing pretty okay, it's just that the medium is slightly bad and uh, you see that um, you can keep it for a few more days or a week, then enjoy the blooms for a few days. It really um, doesn't harm it. But be ju very judgmental. Ju oh, that's a word that I will not pronounce. Judgmental. There we go. So um, assess the, the health of the orchid really, really good before deciding to let it bloom for um, a few more days. Now the real problem is with Phalaenopsis orchids actually, and you see everywhere on the internet people saying don't repot it until the blooms are gone because if you repot it the blooms might fall. Well Phalaenopsis orchids, if they're happy or if they're just in the mood, they can be in bloom for a few months. And while it's pretty okay to leave the orchid a few more days in the same medium, it's really not okay to leave it there for a few months. So, maybe you can enjoy your flowers a few more days on your Phalaenopsis, but keep in mind that if it still has some strength in it, it will stay in bloom for a few weeks or months. And uh, yeah, at some point you have to do the inevitable and repot the orchid. So, my personal opinion is that if an orchid is really, really going bad, cut the flower spike, repot it. If the medium is not that good, leave it a few more days, enjoy it, and then repot it. Keep the flowers. If the orchid looks okay, it's not super limpy and super wrinkled, you can keep the flower spikes. Eventually, if the orchid is sick, they will drop anyway. The, the flowers will, will drop anyway. So it, at the end of the day, it's the same result, is it? So the point that I'm trying to make here is that you actually have to assess the plant yourself because you're the only one who can actually see all the little wrinkles or all the little nasty stuff or good stuff and uh, of course in time you'll have more experience and you will be able to make a better um, decision but try to decide for yourselves if it's time to repot it no matter what or if it, if it can handle a few more days because some orchids can actually handle just a few more days and it is a shame not to enjoy these beautiful flowers but if the orchid is on its deathbed chop the flower spikes forget about the flowers you can always rebloom it so okay that's my opinion on the subject um i don't know i don't i can't really give you a straight answer it's really about how you actually feel the plant how you 
see it. As I told you, you're the only one who can actually see everything about your plant. A photograph might really not help if you're asking for advice. So, okay, thank you for the question and the suggestion. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty delicate subject. Everybody tells you don't repot until the flowers are done. Yeah, it's not really like that, really. So, okay. Tell me what you think about this, how you like to repot your orchids, if you like for the blooms to wait, your experience. You can share them in comments and uh, yeah, if you guys can check the comments, sometimes people have really good advice to give you uh, just by telling you their experience. You can learn a lot. So until I make that forum on my website, check the, check the comments and uh, yeah, see what people are saying. So okay, thank you for joining. If you have other questions, pop them in a comment below and I'll try to make a video. And uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Bye!